My name is Mary. I'm 62 years of age. I was 61 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. When I found out that I had cancer, it was just such a total shock because you never think it's going to happen to you. I was diagnosed with grade 2 early stage cancer. My treatment options was that I would have to have a lumpectomy with um, radiotherapy. I had an appointment with Dr. Fassell and he then said to me there was this treatment that he could offer me which was this, the IORT which is a single uh, dose of radiotherapy during the operation. IORT or intraoperative radiotherapy is a technique where radiotherapy is given to the area in the breast where the tumour has been taken out of and it's given at the time of surgery and the idea is that it replaces the traditional radiotherapy that's given over a three-week period once the patient has recovered from the surgery. The main difference was that I was able to go in, have my operation. I knew I had that one dose um, of radiotherapy and I knew once I'd been discharged from hospital I could go home. I didn't have in my mind then that, oh, now I've, got to, I've gone through this op and now I've got to go and go through three weeks of radiotherapy five days a week. I just was able to recover so much quicker. IORT has been shown in a randomised clinical trial to be non-inferior to conventional radiotherapy and that trial was almost three and a half thousand patients and for me that has been quite a strong proof of evidence that IORT in the correct group of patients provides just as good local control as standard radiotherapy. Patient selection is key. The right patient for IORT is somebody who is postmenopausal. Um, has got an early breast cancer that tends to be small, has not gone to the lymph nodes, and IRT is suitable for those. IRT does have an advantage in that the delivery of the dose of radiation is very localised to the area of the tumour. So there is effectively protection of the breast with the dose being very low to the rest of the breast. There is also an aim to reduce the dose to the lung, which is under the breast, and to the heart. The ribs also will get a very small dose and most patients tolerate that very well. The contrast with standard radiotherapy is there is an attempt to reduce dose to all these normal structures but unfortunately there can be lower doses given to the whole of the area surrounding the breast, namely the breast tissue, the lungs, the ribs and sometimes the heart as well. So when I went down to have the operation for the lumpectomy, um, at the same time after the surgeon had done his part, I then had the single dose of radiotherapy just on that area, so it just targeted that small area. Once the tumour is removed, both the radiotherapy physicist and myself will place a balloon into the cavity. Now this balloon is inflatable and is designed to fit the cavity so that there's no air around the breast tissue. Then a x-ray tube travels down the balloon to deliver the dose of radiation. Once that is completed, the x-ray tube is removed, the balloon is deflated and the surgeon can seal up the wound. The main patient benefits we've, we've seen from feedback from a lot of the patients that we've, that we've treated is that they can't believe that their radiotherapy and their surgery is completed in, in one session. You know, I heard of other women having to go through all this other treatment for three weeks and I just didn't have to do that. Mine was finished. I was out of hospital, I just got on with my life. There's a real need to offer intraoperative radiotherapy to, to suitable patients. There's over 80% of all patients, breast cancer patients diagnosed, are 50 years or older, so they may suit the selection criteria. And four out of five patients have early stage disease. I feel so lucky that I was able to have this treatment. Very, very lucky.